Hi there wonderful YouTube viewers and a massive thank you for being here watching. My name is Jay and this is Heart and Soul Tarot. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed, those of you who haven't, if you want to consider doing that, that would be awesome. And please do like this video if you do enjoy. Have another pick a card reading here for you to take a look at your love life during the month of March. So we have three options. These are general readings, okay? So just take what resonates for you and your situation and leave anything else then for other viewers who come along later. If you were interested in a personal reading, then you can email me at heartandsoultarot at outlook.com and I charge £22 for a 30-minute reading. Um, in the description box, you will find the details to book a reading and you'll also find the decks that I use along with the timestamps. Okay, so let's take a look. We have option number one, option two and option three. If you need more time, then pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to get started with option number one. Hi there, option one, and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. What I got for you first of all was this beautiful Divine Feminine Oracle deck, which um, was actually a gift for me. And your message, the Red Lady, I am pure strength, I honour my anger by giving it a voice. Okay, so perhaps you are feeling... Um, some anger at the moment, okay? Perhaps you are feeling mixed emotions is what I'm getting with this here. Just allow these feelings to come. Honour every emotion is the message I feel here. Um, it doesn't matter if they're positive or negative. Don't, you know, dwell in those feelings, but allow them to come. Accept them so that you can release them, okay? And um, by giving them a voice. A voice these angers if you need to in a, you know, diplomatic way then. Okay, so I'm going to get some tarot for you. We have the um, witches deck and the first card out beautiful we have the queen of cups so the queen of cups actually I'm going to pop that there the queen of cups is all about love it's all about empathy is um the nurturer okay um very deep in the fields she's an empath as well she knows what's going on before it's even happened kind of vibe we do have the king of swords and we also, with that, have the Eight of Wands. So I do feel there is going to be some sort of forward movement here for some of you, okay? Um, it could be communication from an air sign. In regards to signs, we have water here, so that's um, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. And we also have air signs, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius there. So yeah, some news coming in perhaps for you um, from someone who is very intelligent, very analytical, very logical um, and somebody if you wants to speak their truth to you in regards to love here. So it could be a secret admirer, it could be someone from your past, it could be someone brand new that you've just met. We do have this beautiful Four of Swords. Okay, so with the Four of Swords, it is all about healing. Perhaps you have been through some sort of a retreat here, okay? Perhaps you have been doing some inner work and some healing work on yourself. Could also speak of someone from the past, okay, who has gone away um, and has done some inner healing and inner work themselves, okay? You know, with this card being here, I am pure with strength and I honour my anger. Perhaps this is somebody, okay, who has angered you in the past. We have the Ace of Wands to clarify the Queen of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and we also have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, this could definitely could be someone from the past. Okay, someone perhaps you've walked away from. Someone who's walked away from you. However, I do feel they are coming back to offer you this coin here, okay? And, you know, this brand new passion at beginning with that Ace of Wands there. For some of you, I feel that you do just want a brand new beginning with someone completely new. You are still walking away from this connection, okay? Could it definitely be air sign here. We do have Earth as well now, so Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. But yeah, definitely could be um, on your own journey right now and looking for a brand new passion at beginning elsewhere. But I do definitely feel that there are past vibes coming here. Um, somebody is... Somebody who's looked at the situation again, I want to say, and is thinking about things more clearly. We do have the Ten of Swords here as well. It could have definitely been someone that had, you know, there was this painful end in here, is what I'm getting. Um, this person has great gained wisdom, though, is what I feel, because I am being drawn to the, um, the owl there. At the bottom of the deck here, we have the shadow side. So I do feel that this is someone who has triggered you. You've triggered this person, okay? For those of you who this is a brand new person, um, I do feel that it's it's going to be somebody who could trigger your um, deepest fears to you as well as your deepest desires, okay? But as I say, I do strongly feel this is X vibes here. 
we have the king of wands so the king of wands you know could be a business leader could be a boss here okay um interestingly enough he's holding that wand that is being offered here okay fire now on the table as well here so we actually have all the signs here now um leo sagittarius and aries there oh that's a few too many the king of wands is very passionate this person is very passionate about you very good looking as well okay ten of wands there and the hanged man so yeah what i'm getting here okay this is i'm strongly feeling this is someone from your past okay that you have walked away from or they've walked away from you because of really heavy burdens here i do feel that perhaps somebody wasn't speaking their truth in the past okay and they could be returning now to um, end this painful cycle of separation is what i'm feeling okay and this has been a long time coming as well as what i'm getting for some of you here and um, this person, it's like a pause, okay? We've got Pisces energy here as well. Um, there's like a pause, but there's that coin, that um, pentacle being offered here, okay? Um, that we did see with this page of, um, page of pentacles. Sorry, I can't get my words up for a minute. Yeah, it's page of pentacles is offering this coin, okay? And this person is getting signs is what I'm getting to make this offer, okay? To um, make this offer to you. We do have the Empress energy then that has jumped out for this section here, the Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, and then we have the Empress. So I do feel that, um, you know, you've stand, stood into your power, your, your, your true energy, and your person actually sees you as um, divine, okay? So masculine or feminine, it doesn't really matter. And they do see you as their divine counterpart. They see you as very attractive, okay? I do feel you're a very attractive couple. Um... I'm actually being drawn to that rabbit there, okay, on the Empress card. And what I'm feeling with that is, you know, spring is of significance here. Um, I also feel that this person could be um, somebody who is quite, um, who hops about a lot then, okay. Travels a lot perhaps, or moves about a lot, doesn't really stand still for long. Okay, so we do then have the death card here, okay, I was getting just some clarification of this um, tarot spread so far, and we have the death card, so big transformation here, okay, this person has transformed, they have done some inner healing work, okay, and um, so they can, new version of them. I also feel that you have actually um, changed as well, like I said, I feel that you've stood into your true energy, male or female, doesn't matter. I feel that you are more enlightened now, you are wiser now. And I also feel that for your person, I feel in the past, okay, um, your person could have rejected an offer from you, <coughs> excuse me, um, with this five of cups being here, but they're feeling a lot of regret, they're feeling a lot of um, remorse is also what I'm getting here as well. But yeah, transformation here. And I do also say feel they want to speak their truth, this page of swords here again about truth and honesty. Okay, I want to get something from the Work Your Own Light deck now. Month of March, what's going on in love? We have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms, beautiful. So like I was saying with the hands, man, I do feel your person is actually getting signs from the universe, okay? This crow is trying to um, get this person's attention here, okay? But they're too busy just hanging out. But what's interesting, okay, I've just noticed, you know, the light, the halo here, and we've got the halo here, okay? So your person is waking up is the message here. They are getting these signs, and I feel they are more open to them. Um, and it's a subtle process is what I feel. We do have mirror here, okay, who or what is triggering you, um, and with this being here, you know, I do feel things, as I said, either way, if this is someone from your past, I feel that there would have been a lot of triggering going on here, a lot of healing work needed to be done on both parts, um, and I also feel if it's someone new, that they are going to trigger these things within you so that you can heal them, um, but it also makes me think of, you know, obviously twin flame with that mirror there, this person is a mirror of you who has um, come into your life with this purpose in many ways. And then we have the beautiful yes, just say yes card. So I definitely feel this person is going to make you some sort of an offer here, okay? With it being wands, um, you know, we do have this page of pentacles, okay? But we've got the wands here. So it could be about passion. Um, just be sure it's not just about the passion. It's the message I'm getting that there. Um, if you are looking for more of a commitment here, okay? Because we do have the king of wands as well, again, about that passion. And the page of pentacles. Perhaps this person is um, very mature in their... Um, their in passionate ways then okay but maybe they're not as mature when it comes to being realistic about things is what i'm feeling here okay i'm gonna pop those cards up there a little 
and I'm going to get you some more ology cards now. The month of March. What is happening in the month of March for my group ones, please, Spirit? We have confidence is key to success. New moon in Leo. Beautiful. So, yeah, you're going to be very um, confident this month in March is what I'm feeling. And that's going to bring along this success. This beautiful yes card is what I'm being drawn to there. And, of course, this empress energy as well that I feel that you will be embodying um, during this time. Very nurturing energy as well, the Empress, okay, very magical energy, kind of embodies the four queens, so we've got the empathy, um, doesn't take any nonsense, okay, stands in her true power there, um, yeah, wonderful energy to be embodying this March. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. We also have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, beautiful, and we have hold your vision, um, fixed moon. So yeah, your manifestation work, um, hold your vision, okay, if you've been thinking about this specific person, um, then yeah, you are on the right path is what I'm hearing here. And for those of you, as I say, this is a new connection, um, this is someone special, and perhaps you have felt this instant connection, this deep connection with somebody. We do have the beautiful, a new, new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra here, okay, and obviously Taurus and Libra is represented with the Empress card here as well. I'm just going to tidy these cards up a little bit. Okay, and finally I want to get some Romance Angels for you and I want to get a Divine Counterpart message as well. Being as this is someone from the past, I feel that is more um, yeah, it's relevant. Okay, we do have Passion, allow your heart to sing, uh, sorry, heart and soul to sing with joy. Beautiful. Definitely, so like I said, definitely our passion here, okay, with that Ace of Wands and this King of Wands energy here. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This could be someone from your past, as I said, and I feel that some of you might be on your own journey right now looking for this passion beginning elsewhere. And it could be the time where, you know, it has come to release your ex. For others of you, I feel it's the energy from the connection that you need to let go of. Um, you know, perhaps there was conflict, you know, like I said, there was some sort of a, a painful ending for some of you here, okay. Um, which has brought about beautiful healing energy and has, you know, made you the empress but still it was um, harsh energy all the same. And then we finally have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And <clears throat> that is what I was seeing strongly with the reading, okay, with the King of Swords and now the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck as well. Um, it does speak to me about truth being spoken. Honesty. Will you forgive me? Yeah, I do feel this person has hurt, you know, for some of you at least, okay, this is, as I say, someone from the past and they have hurt you and they want your forgiveness and I feel that you are working through your fears. Um, I don't feel it's that you've not forgiven this person, I feel it's more fear related now because this person might have hurt you in the past. <coughs> we have the Twin Flame card here, excuse me. So yeah, with the Twin Flame being here, perhaps your person is actually awakening to the idea that you are Twin Flames, okay? Um, but yeah, definitely a Twin flame type vibe here, okay? Like I said, about the mirrors of each other. Um, yeah, Twin Flame vibes. Or whatever you want to call this connection, okay? It doesn't have to be Twin Flame, no deep down the soul, my divine counterpart, however you wish to word it. Right now, it's so too much for me. So this person is working through their fears as well, is what I'm getting with that being here, okay? Um, they're working on the self-confidence as well, okay, in order to come towards you and make this offer. And your final message is, I know we have spent many lifetimes together. Family issues play a big part in my love life. Okay, so with those being here, you know, this person recognises you as a soulmate. They do recognise that you have spent lifetimes together. Um, and they could be having family issues at the moment, which might have even caused them to retreat in the first place, okay? But they're working their way through those um, in order to make this offer to you is what I get you. And at the bottom then we have, how could I do that to you? So yeah, this person, like I said, with a five of cups energy, could be remorseful energy here is what I'm really getting um, strongly. I do feel this, for many of you, this is someone from your past who is going to be coming in um almost like a better version of themselves okay and for others of you i feel this could be a brand new person who is going to be triggering you you are going to be triggering them so it's not going to be very straightforward connection um but it is going to be <coughs> beautiful he beautifully healing for you and your person okay um 
yeah and that's all I have for you group one so please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you in your situation please do hit the like and if you were interested in a personal reading as I say my details are in the description box below thank you for watching and I shall see you in another video bye Hi group two and welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here watching. Okay, let's take a look first of all at your beautiful divine feminine oracle card and it says, Green Tara, the bud of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Beautiful. What wonderful energy to be going into March with. Wonderful. I'm going to pop that there. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot for you. What is going on in group two's love life, please? Wow, we have the beautiful magician. I do feel that you are going to be very enlightened this week, okay? You are going to be standing into your true power. You're going to be accepting responsibility for creating the magic um, in your life. The magic literally is at your fingertips, this magician being here. And look how the um, hand is lit up here as well in green Tara. I do feel that you're going to be, um, and having more understanding as well for law of attraction is what I'm feeling here. With this five of swords being here, okay, for some of you there could have been... Um, some conflict okay there could be some conflict in the month of March for you <coughs> but if anything this is only going to make you um stand more in your power is what I'm getting here um don't be afraid to stand your ground is what I feel I also get okay that you are actually going to be doing what's right for you putting yourself first the five of swords and the magician energy combined with the screen of Tara as well um some sort of enlightenment has happened perhaps in the past okay you have always put other people first something has sort of um, like a switch has been hit is what I'm feeling here okay and yeah just all of a sudden you are standing into your true power you're doing what is right for you we have the beautiful world card here so you've completed some sort of a cycle okay within love here um, you know that could have been what this five of swords energy is about some conflict um, doesn't have to be though okay but yeah with the world cards being here again I want to say about this enlightenment okay you are on this journey to enlightenment is what I strongly feel March is going to be a very powerful month for you um, a month of growth as well okay it could be traveling as well so physical travel or it could be um, spiritual travel um, meditation it could be astral dreaming as well is what I'm getting for some of you but what I feel is some sort of a breakthrough here as well with that world card being here let's get some more we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, finally putting down the burdens that you have been carrying around with you. Um, I feel that, you know, you haven't got to this enlightened power, this enlightened place with no suffering. And I do feel that you have been carrying a lot around with you. Know that those burdens are coming to an end for you. Um, there's going to be, like I say, some sort of a completion of a cycle here, okay? For some of you, it could be that, you know, you've been single a long time and you've given up hope that someone's coming to you. Um, and you just want somebody to sort of share the burden with sometimes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like in this card here. Um, but yeah, I feel there's completion of a cycle there. I do think, feel things are going to improve here. You are going to be making your way up the hill to um, a happy home life with somebody. I do feel that you could be meeting someone new in uh, March, especially as this beautiful um, Knight of Cups has popped out here, okay? So there is someone coming in for you to offer you this cup of love. This is, um, you know, a fairly fast moving energy. It's not very slow moving, okay, but it's not overly fast either. I do feel it's something you've manifested though, okay. Um, these butterflies here, this huge transformation that you're undergoing, I feel is attracting this beautiful um, energy of the Knight of Cups towards you. We've got daffodils here, okay. Daffodils um, are special in in Wales where I live and um, so yeah I've been drawn to those but the springtime okay or March is when the daffodils um, are of significance we have St David's Day on the 1st of March because okay, so the 1st of March could even be something to you but definitely for the month of March I do feel this beautiful energy coming towards you we have Sagittarius energy here with um, the temperance and we also have the eight of swords energy here what I am feeling okay you could be um, if this whole putting yourself first is new to you, okay, you could even be feeling a little bit trapped. <clears throat> there could be a little bit of guilt about doing that. And I feel there is going to be this release, okay, this time for healing here. And patience as well is what I'm getting. We have the Four of Cups as well, okay. This could be somebody um, 
well, first off, that you're not going to take, okay, because they're, you're not going to take the offer, because there is so many burdens that you need to work through yourself, okay, or you could be feeling a little bit trapped, not quite completing this cycle that we're talking about here, okay. Um, the other thing I'm getting is this could be someone from your past, okay, that you've waited for a very long time for, um, and they've previously rejected an offer from you in the past, or perhaps you've rejected their offer. Um, okay, and we've also got this Ace of Swords. So seeing things far more clearly now, this clarity is definitely coming to you. It is again an Ace, okay? So this is a definitely um, a month of new beginnings for you. Um, and truth coming your way as well is what I feel. We have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is all about spiritual journey. It is about um, commitment as well, okay? So this offer of commitment could be coming towards you. Um, the other thing that I'm getting there is perhaps you are looking to somebody for this healing advice, for this um, healing <clears throat> therapies perhaps for some of you, okay, but you are on some sort of a spiritual path here, this world card I'm being drawn back to now, um, and it could be bringing up anxieties, it could be bringing up fears for you, so that you can move into this more enlightened space here. We have the beautiful King of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Cups here. Okay, so what I'm getting is that this person coming towards you, okay, there is definite potential here for this to grow, with this be going from a Knight to a King of Cups here. Um, for some of you, as I say, don't feel that you're in the place where you want to take on love right now, okay? Or for others of you, it's that this person has already walked away from you in the past. I actually wanted to get some clarification on that, and we actually got the Hanged Man, and we got the Strength card. But eight, eight, eight here, okay? So abundance. I do feel that there's going to be money coming your way. Um, you are going to see um, improvements in that department, okay? But yeah, what I'm getting with this is somebody has become more enlightened is what I feel. They are holding back, okay? They were always holding back is what I'm getting, these people who are from the past. In regards to this new person, um, maybe right now isn't the time, as I say, where you feel you want to accept love. Um, but this is part of your spiritual journey is what I'm feeling. This could be someone in your friend circle as well, okay? And we do then have the Queen of um, Pentacles here. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, it does speak about wife material. It does speak about being very nurturing, being very um, wealthy, okay? Having plenty of coin there. So, yeah, like I said, I do feel there is going to be improvement in regard to um, finances for you. I want to get some Romance Angels for you now. So, let's move these over there. And just try and move everything up slightly. Okay. So we have the Romance Angels, the group two. What is going on in their love life, please? What is going on in their love life? For many of you, as I say, you could be more focused on your spiritual ascension at the moment, or work, or something else, care other than love. And that's right when it's going to come in, is what I'm getting here. We have let your friends help you, ask for support, and ask sorry, ask for and accept support from others. So yeah, you could, like I say, be turning to other people at this time, okay, for spiritual guidance, for, you know, um, for some sort of healing ways or just ideas from them, okay, sharing with your friends, that sort of thing. We have worth waiting for here, divine timing is at work in your love life, you know, with that patience, that temperance card, okay, for those of you who, you know, you already know who this person is, they're from the past, um, you know, that's a positive sign here. And as I say, it could be someone from your friend circle with the King of Cups and this let your friends help you. We have very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Beautiful. You know, the Magician and the Green Tower here, you are manifesting very strongly at the moment, okay? Um, your powers are very strong and you are feeling that energy is what I'm really getting here, okay? Um, and your manifestations are coming in for you very soon is what I feel. Stay optimistic about your love life. Remain positive um, and faith, sorry, positive and thinking and faith will bring you romance. Beautiful. So yeah, I do feel that you are in the positive light at the moment, okay? Although you've got some sort of conflict going on here, I do feel overall the energy here is very positive. Um, and I do see that very soon you will be getting, um, yeah, some sort of a message, some sort of um, we bump into somebody, it couldn't be completely random, okay, where you're out in the street and you bump into someone, I mean literally bump into somebody um, and it sparks something for some of you. Okay, so from the Moonology, what's going on in the month of March, please, for my group tools, what's going on in the month of March? So be bold and make the first move, beautiful, okay, really standing in that energy, really... Um, 
being bold okay about things like this manifestation power you will have the a magic in your fingertips here we have a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo and one more from the moonology deck for the month of march for my group twos please we have confidence is key to success new moon in leo beautiful let's actually come out in group one as well then at the bottom we have don't let the past hold you back self note now that's interesting because we do have you know this eight of swords energy this um <coughs> excuse me this kind of feeling stuck energy there okay um so yeah i feel that's it's a time to move away from that energy now i do as i say feel march is the month where you are going to be literally walking away from this um this energy of feeling trapped feeling stuck doing what is best for you after a long time there is no such thing as a loss in the universe from the goddess cards here for some of you you have had a loss okay and there has been a person that's walked away i um, you know for some of you that's this is a reconciliation that we're talking about for others of you this is a brand new person coming to show you um that you know great love is worth taking the risks for is what i'm getting it's worth completing cycles for it is worth um moving out of headspace and just trusting in your heart space is what i feel here it is vitally important that you stay alert synchronicities will occur regularly but you have to be attuned to notice them so like i said with the 888 okay you could be noticing these synchronizations okay um like i say i feel that's for abundance for you and abundance not just wealth um with money okay i do feel there's going to be abundance in love as well as this is a love reading but yeah there's going to be synchronicities all around you at this time there's like no such thing as a coincidence i feel you're awakening and attuning into that <laughs> so they're probably going to increase for you during the month of march um, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. And I do feel that you are learning that. I do feel that there have been past connections where you've had to kind of do that, okay? Perhaps you've had to walk away from some sort of a connection here because somebody couldn't um, take your cup of love, okay? And you've had to learn to love yourself and that situation. And if you're not there yet, you know that the month of March is when that transition is going to happen, when this light is going to be shed on the situation. And this body is only a temporary home of my soul. I will love, care, respect and honour it. Beautiful. So yeah, with this energy here, very pure energy, okay. Um, really looking after yourself. Perhaps you are looking at a more healthy lifestyle, okay, in regards to um, diet, in regards to what you, um, the people you hang out with, the energies that you um, have around you. Anything really, just looking at things with a more healthy um, perspective is what I really feel there. And then we have from the work, your own light we have what is going on in group two's love life we have leap beautiful you go first the universe will catch you it's about having that faith here okay so taking that first step and knowing that the universe has got your back is what i'm really getting here we also have trust your path if you knew you were supported what would you do and that's interesting they're very um, they're both cards for having faith, having trust here, okay, so what is it you truly want to do? If you felt that you could do absolutely anything and you had the support of the universe, you had the support of your friends, your family, what would it be that you would do? Um, and this is also, I feel that you are going to be realising during the month of March exactly what it is you want, okay, from life and from love is what I'm getting here. <coughs> Excuse me. one more okay we've got two so i'll take them we have um the initiation rite of passage cross crossing the threshold beautiful i do feel you crossing from darkness into light here okay group two um i do feel that you are transitioning you are ascending okay you're on some sort of a spiritual journey and there's finally light at the end of the tunnel here you've already you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing the truth node north sorry this is beautiful okay so like that eight of swords energy that we had there okay um stop overthinking the situation whatever it is okay whether it's just you know you've been single for a long time whether it's someone in particular that you've had your eye on okay and they're not interested whatever it is whether there's someone from the past that you really want to reconnect with whatever it is just know that you know the universe is here with you you've already done the hard work it's time to stop thinking and just start feeling and allowing things to unfold naturally is what i'm really getting here um and yeah just speak your truth be your truth honor your truth is the message as well and then at the bottom of the deck we have mirror who or what is triggering you so do feel that you've had a very triggering time okay with that five of swords it could have been you know in a conflict there um but yeah you have been triggered i feel 
um, in the recent past okay and you are learning um, what these triggers are and what they mean to you on a deeper level why you were triggered by these feelings as well as what I'm getting here and for others of you you know there is somebody as I say coming towards you it could be someone from the past could be dealing with um, your mirror image then okay you could be dealing with your other half or however you wish to um, word that connection um, and for others of you, you could be meeting this person during the month of March, but the universe is calling you to have this leap of faith at the moment. Go first and the universe will catch you. And that has been your reading group too. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you. Please do give a like and a share, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate every one of you. Um, and if you were interested in a personal reading, then my details are in the inbox below. And I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. Hi group three and welcome to your reading for the month of March in love. Okay, let's take a look. Your card is the Poetess. I love every inch of my body and I love the woman in my life fears. Fe I love, sorry, and I love the women in my life fearlessly. Beautiful energy. This um, card always reminds me of Amy Winehouse, okay, so perhaps you do like her music um, or something like that. But yeah, anyway, this card is you know, very red, okay, about um, the root chakra is what I'm getting here. I do feel that the month of March is going to be um, very healing for you, okay, very grounding. I do see that you are going to be... Um, Positively moving forward and more confident about yourself, okay, and about um, your body. Yeah, like the card says, loving every inch of you. And I don't just mean um, your body, I mean your soul, your mind. Really appreciating who you are as well. I'm getting the um, writing as well, okay. Some of you could be poets, some of you could be um, write songs or a journal, perhaps you're keeping a journal at the moment, or a blog, something like that, I do feel that's of significance, as well as music, okay, we've got this harp here as well, so um, music I do feel is of significance as well for this group, so in the month of March, beautiful, wow, we have the Empress energy opening your reading, okay, so with the Empress, she is beautiful, you know, this card, this um, lady is naked in the card, okay, um, it is about loving her body, it is about, um, this true empowerment, having this confidence, having this um, belief that you are good enough in every sense of the word, okay? Um, so the Empress is very nurturing, she's um, very empathetic, she's very sensual, she's very attractive, okay? So yeah, very attractive vibes and standing in her power as well, okay? So I do feel that you are going to be standing in your power. For some of you, okay, it could actually be that you do pose for um, pictures, maybe you are some sort of a, a life model or something like that. Um, that's only going to resonate with a few of you, obviously. Um, but yeah, the artistic and the creativity with this card, now that Empress card, perhaps that is the case there. Wow, we have the beautiful Ace of Wands. So brand new, passionate beginning, you know, this red, this fiery energy here. Like I said, being very grounded at the moment, okay? Standing in your true power. And wow, look at this beautiful um, wand here, this energy of a brand new, fresh start here. Um, I do feel that there is going to be a choice that you're going to have to make, okay, in regards to this um, offer that's going to be made to you, though, this brand new cycle that you could be starting um, with a Two of Swords being there. And, you know, it's not something that you're going to hang about with too long is what I'm getting. The decision is not going to be too difficult to make is what I feel. This is quite a light-hearted energy, okay? Um, but it's still going to be a decision to make all the same is what I feel. We have the Four of War, uh, sorry, the Four of pentacles here so with that four of pentacles what i'm feeling is there could be something that you're holding on to okay from the past um and that maybe is this decision that needs to be made now it could be in relationships okay it could just be in finances it could be in work or something like that okay um but for this brand new to start to occur you have to let go of something else is what i'm feeling i'm also feeling that for some of you okay where there have been perhaps financial difficulties at this time okay which could you know play a part in your love life or not whichever um what I'm getting is there's going to be improvement here, there's going to be this new job offer, there's going to be some sort of an offer here, okay, um, and you could have to make a decision in regards to whether it's worth the risk is what I feel here. We do have the beautiful world card, so some sort of a completion of a cycle, okay, some sort of ending of one thing in order for this brand new start here, like what I was just saying about letting something go, okay, this completion in order to have this wonderful beginning here. I do feel the month of May is significant here as well for some of you. Um, 
that might resonate, it might not. And also the number three is what I'm feeling as well. But this world card, okay, you are on some sort of a journey here. You are um, traveling and growing is what I feel, okay? So you could be physically traveling, you could actually be going, you know, on a traveling adventure or something like that. But you're on adventures all the same, even if you are just sat in the house, okay? Um, and I, do, I feel you're very active at the moment as well. I do feel that you are um, attracting beautiful, positive things. And again, there's that element of um, nakedness in this card. And what I feel with that, it's about um, purity almost, okay? And just being, you feel completely comfortable in your skin in the month of March is what I want to say. I know that may sound a bit strange, but yeah, that's, that's the way I'm feeling it. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful, and we also have the Six of Cups. So I do see this brand new offer, okay, is going to be coming in from someone who is a soulmate with that Six of Cups, someone you've possibly had past life relationships, or perhaps you've had a past connection with them in this lifetime, okay? Um, but this is somebody who sees you as the Queen of Pentacles, very nurturing energy, okay? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo's energy. We also have um, Taurus and Libra's energy with the Empress here as well, okay? So... Yeah, they see you as somebody who has great potential. I do feel there is a possibility that there is a long-term commitment coming in for you with the Queen of Wands, uh, sorry, Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's a slow-moving energy, but it's about abundance in every way. So like I was just saying as well about the finances improve, and I do feel that is the case with this Queen of Wands here. After you complete some sort of a cycle, after going in yourself, okay, looking within yourself um, and relighting your fire, which is what I feel for many of you, you are doing with this... Um, Poetis card here, okay. It's also Virgo's energy. It's by going within yourself that you're able to release whatever it is that's been holding you back as well, is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, we have the beautiful um wheel of fortune here. So good luck here, okay. A change in the wind is what I'm getting here. <coughs> <coughs> things really improving in every sense for you what's interesting is that we have a line of major arcanas here okay we do have one here the Vir virgo hermit um but yeah we have three in a row here we have this nine of swords okay so nine of swords can speak about can speak about sleepless nights okay anxieties things being brought to the surface okay well for this ten of swords for this completion of a cycle that we're in, just about to say they come into the surface so that you can um, end it once and for all is what I feel wow and then we have the justice card so this is Libra's energy again strong Libra energy here um doesn't have to be though okay but yeah ten of swords I'm um, completing this cycle and things bringing things back into balance here just going to get one more card oh, we've got two so we're going to take them we have the five of swords and we also have the chariot here and on the bottom of the deck we have the six of swords so yeah any conflict that you might have been experiencing okay any sleepless nights any anxieties any things like that it's all connected okay to this ten of swords energy to this um end in this completion of a cycle here for a brand new cycle to begin this this particular ten of swords always reminds me of the death card um for obvious reasons um but yeah yeah, definitely a new beginning some sort of a transformation here okay and things again being brought into balance with this chariot card also speaks about willpower as well okay speaks about balance um some sort of enlightenment some sort of growth has occurred here okay within you which is attracting this more positive energy towards you and i do see during the month of um march you're actually going to be in a more calmer state okay you are going to be moving as i say away from this nine of swords energy any conflict any five of swords energy okay you're getting in your boat and you're sailing off to calmer seas with these lessons this wisdom that you have gained along the way here okay so now i want to get some romance angels for you what is going on in the month of march please oh gosh that's way too many what is going on in the month of March, please, for my group threes? I almost said two then. Okay, so chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here, beautiful. So you're going to positive chemistry here, okay, this person coming towards you, um, or the person you're with at the moment, there could be an increase in the chemistry there, okay. Finances and career, financial issues are affecting your love life right now. we kind of seen that with the tarot, okay, but as I said, do feel there's going to be a positive shift. There and there could even be a new job offer for you where some of you might even meet this person that is coming towards you. I feel for many of you, okay, the month of March is more about growing and personal um 
growth, okay? That's not to say you're not going to have these offers, just yet yeah, that you are more focused right now on yourself and your self-growth. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Beautiful. And I was seeing that earlier on. Um, I do feel that you... You could be noticing synchronicities, okay? You could be noticing songs that remind you um, or just make you feel all loved up, okay? Um, but yeah, I do feel there is somebody coming towards you, okay, who may differ. So yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. But this person could still be worth taking the risks that you're guided to take. And I do feel that you're going to see signs, okay, when this person's around you. We have released the X. It's time to come to clear your energy. I was definitely feeling that what's interesting is coming to the four, uh, sorry, the finances and career. And we spoke about the four of pentacles energy there, that lack feeling. Um, but yeah, releasing some sort of an energy. It could be the X, okay? Could be this person's X, could be your X, could just be the energy, okay, um, of lack, is what I feel with that. But we have then stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Beautiful. And then we have healing family issues, um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I do feel, as I say, it's going to be a lot of things being brought to the surface for you in order for you to heal them for that ten of swords, that completion of that painful cycle there for you. I'm actually going to get some self-empowerment messages for you as well. For the month of March, please. We have regain your passion for life. Beautiful. And that's exactly what I was saying about that. Really, um getting back to your roots okay getting back to this grounded energy and finding that fire within yourself again we have travelers on the card spiritual and physical that actually come up in the reading as well okay so yeah this travel i do feel there's going to be time of travel for you and um, whether it is as i say physical travel travel whether you're going on some sort of an adventure but you're definitely on some sort of a spiritual adventure here you are relighting your own fire hot stuff wow okay so definitely if you you have okay you've done a lot of inner work here and you are finally coming into a more um more aligned more balanced more heated um wonderful place of manifestation things are starting to happen for you now is what i feel we have beautiful you are beautiful okay your energy is beautiful um and the things coming into your life during march is going to be beautiful we have led and 11 alignment at its finest beautiful what was i just saying about this alignment i do feel that you are coming into the right alignment here okay you are Focusing on number one, which is exactly what you have to do at this time. We have your vision is changing here. Beautiful. You've got this. And one more, please. It may seem difficult at the moment, but it is all part, it is all serving a higher purpose. Beautiful. So yeah, right now things might not be great. Okay, that five of swords, that nine of swords energy. But it's all part of this transition that you're going through because your vision is changing. You've got this. Beautiful love is coming in for you. Okay, you're moving into right alignment to attract the right kind of love. After you've done lots of soul searching is what I feel. After you've relit your own fire. After you've really gone within yourself and found out what really matters to you. You are strongly manifesting at the time, this time as I said so um keep those thoughts really positive if you can okay um the message I'm getting with that is that you've waited a long time for this manifestation to come in for you and here it is after a long long time 888 money and financial abundance are heading your way now I said that during the reading okay and that's the one that's actually on the bottom of this deck here so yeah what I feel is that things are going to improve financially this abundance is coming towards you okay and that's going to be like a catalyst for many of you okay or for some of you, you could actually meet this person at work okay um, and for others of you like I said you're more focused right now on your personal growth on your career on your finances and that's boom when like this love is going to come into your life after your um, self-work when you're taking care of you a time to give rather sorry a time to give rather than take and then we have the answers you need are coming. Definitely feeling there is strong and positive movement towards you. Okay, there is going to be some sort of enlightenment one way or another, whether it be communication from another person, whether it's coming from source, whatever it is, okay? Um, and you're going to be very giving. We've got Virgo's energy. We've got Gemini's energy here. We've got work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, okay? And we've also got communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So strong Gemini energy here. Um, but with this work through your fears, like I said, I feel things are coming to the surface for you now so that you can work through these fears, so that you can really do this inner work, so that these things can really transpire, so you can realise what's important to you, what's not important to you, and release any illusions that you might have built up in regards to fears in order to take the brand new beginning that we were seeing um, during the tarot part of this reading. Okay, so that's been your reading group three. 
please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation and please do like share subscribe it means an awful lot to me and i shall speak to you soon take care bye